Yo, what up? This is Planet Man. Welcome back to the channel. We got new Team of the Weeks out. You know, yesterday was Sunday. A lot of games went down. A lot of things changed in every division, almost every division. A lot of other teams were put into elite status. Some teams took a step back, but hey, man, it is what it is. And your week hero for today was, hey, man, DRC. He started showboating from the 40 against my Cowboys and got in the end zone. DRC had a monster game, two picks. I don't know what else he did, but hey, he housed one on my boy, so... Hey, let's go ahead and take a look at the week seven upgrades, then the hero, and then we'll take a look at DRC and Mike Evans, who's only in packs for I think 24 hours, 24 hours. But anyways, let's hop into week seven upgrades. Stefan Diggs, he's going around 20K, like 18K. There's one lower than this one. So hey, don't think that's just 20K. The prices are dropping really fast on these team of the weeks, especially the upgrades. I don't know about the hero status, but hey man, the upgrades do drop really fast. Like, Take a look at Stefan Diggs. He matches my Kim or my style. A2 overall wide receiver, 6 foot, 93 speed. Great speed, 90 speed catch, 90 jump. He had an amazing catch in the game, yo, to take the lead. Crazy stat. Next up, we got Charkandrick West. A2 overall halfback, ground pound, going right at 15K. If you're trying to complete this set, 5, 10, 93 speed as well as Stefan Diggs. 96 excel, which is crazy. That's crazy high. Especially to have 96 speed, 92 looseness. And 93 juke move. Hey, the man can make a move. Only 86 carry, but who fumbles in Madden, though? Second to last, we got Telvin Smith, A3 overall route side linebacker. Budget beast as far as 4-3 goes because, hey, man, every time he's in the game, he's always a budget beast in that 4-3 set. Always good zone, always good speed. Only thing is he's light in the ass. He's only, like, 218 pounds, but he's, like, 6'3". So I don't know how you, how you put that in Madden terms with him being really light. I don't know how that works. But anyways, 6'3", 90 speed. Crazy speed and 96 acceleration, yo. And you know he's a 4-3 linebacker, so I'm pretty sure he's good in coverage. Pretty sure he has some decent hands with 90 hit power. This card is looking really nice. He doesn't have the strength, really doesn't have the block shed, doesn't have the play wreck. But as a user, amazing card. Just want to check out his catching. 77 seat, good catching, especially for a linebacker. And then, what else is I going to look at? Zone, there we go. So, so let's look down. He actually has above average... Uh, finesse move, block shed, and pursuit. So, hey, man, that's always a plus. 75 man, 86 zone. Told you he's a budget monster out there. <laughs> he's a budget monster. I know he's only an 83 overall, but, hey, man, he has stats that compares to a lot of elite outside linebackers, especially 4-3 outside linebackers. You might not find a lot of 4-3 outside linebackers who really outdo his stats for his uh, overall. You know his price is going to drop. So, hey, man. And last but not least for the upgrade set, we got William Hayes, who took over Chris Long's spot at that end position for the Rams. 6'3", 82 speed, 94 tackle, 87 power move, 91 block shed, really good block shed. He has like straight up 3-4 uh, defensive end stats, except for the fact that he has speed. So, hey, man, nice card. But, hey, man, these are just collectibles to upgrade so you can get that DRC, right? Team of the week, 92 overall DRC. Some nice stats on that man. You already know he has crazy man coverage, but they gave him some press. I'm gonna show you his card. After I take care of this, and I'm also show you that Mike Evans, but let's just hop into this right quick. Malcolm Smith, Jordan Reed, Cameron Jordan, and Lamar Miller all had monster games on Sunday. I'm telling you, crazy games. Let's start this thing off with Malcolm Smith, a budget beast from Madden Past. So many, I mean, I mean, he's made so many plays for me, especially his 94 overall card in Madden 25 or whatever it was. But he's 85 overall middle linebacker this time around. 91 speed, amazing, blazing fast. Six foot, 90 tackle, 93 pursuit, 83 zone. 81 block shed, 84 hit power, and 86 awareness, which is pretty good, especially for uh, his overall card and the fact that he hasn't been in the league for a long time, right? Um, but anyways, man, good card, but hey, this might just be a collectible. Next up, we got Jordan Reed. Going for right around 20K, 85 overall tight end, long pass, Kim Styles, whatever you want to say. 6'3", 84 speed, not the tallest tight end. You kind of want your tight ends to be like 6'5 and above, but hey, only 64 run block and 68 strength. This is a straight receiving tight end. Uh, 90 route running, which is amazing, especially for a tight end. 89 catch and 92 catch traffic. Pretty good, but hey, that run block and that strength is not going to cut. Second to last, we got Cameron Jordan. 86 overall right end, pass rush chemistry. He's going right around 40K. Right around 40K. That may go up, may go down. It all depends on how freaking sought after that set is. Seeing that the fact that it is DRC. So these cards might stay higher than usual. 
just for the fact of the name and the speed and it's just DRC in general. But anyway, 64, 81 speed, 93 strength, yo, crazy strength. Just imagine that linebacker going against that 68 strength, Jordan Reed. Think about it. Anyways, 88 Excel, 91 tackle, 90 block shed, 88 power move, and 85 play rec. Pretty good card, pretty good card. But hey, man, like I say, it's just a collectible. And your highest rated card coming out the set is Lamar Miller, who had himself a game yesterday. He had over 200 yards all purpose and was just killing on offense. 87 overall halfback, short run. Sorry, I'm just playing. Speed run. <laughs> and who wants a sh who the hell wants a short run? But anyways, 5'10", 94 speed, 94 agility, 94 BCV. You know I love BCV. 95 juke move, 92 excel. Not all that great. I think um, I think uh, what's his name had Jamal Charles has a 92 excel, and you really don't feel it. But anyways, 93 carrying and a 74 truck. Not really too great at trucking, but I'm pretty sure this car is gonna have decent hands. Uh, and I was wrong. But anyways, man, that's pretty much it. Let's go ahead and hop into this DRC and this Mike Evans, please. First up, we got Mike Evans for a limited time only. 90 overall wide receiver, ground and pound Kims. Had himself a monster game on limited touches. Crazy game. 6 foot 5, 90 speed, 96 spec catch though, with a 94 jump. And this is like baby Calvin. Like, to be honest, didn't they just put out a Calvin Johnson card? And they just going to put out this Mike Evans card who's just like him anyways. Uh, 97 release, you can't press him. 95 catch, 85 route running, which is it's good enough. You you really don't use a 6'5 wide receiver with a 96 spec catch. 97 release and 94 jumping for his route running. I'm just saying. It, it just is what it is. But hey, man, he's available until Wednesday the 28th, 1028. So hey, you got about nah, two days. <laughs> you got about two days from this video going up to actually try to pull this card out of packs. If not, hey, you're caught buying him. And you really don't want to do that, dude. And your highest rated card for today is DRC Dominic Rogers Camardi. 92 overall cornerback. They finally got a picture of him with the 41 jersey. But anyway, 92 overall cornerback with zone D. That matches my style, so you know I got to pick him up anyways. 6'2", 94 speed, 95 excel, 95 agility, 98 man. Almost maxed out at man. I'm just saying. He's almost maxed out. 92 zone, 84 press. He couldn't press shit in any card before. And now he can press a little something, something. But anyways, 85 play record, 78 catch. The man gets busy out there at the end spot. At <laughs> the end spot. At the cornerback spot. What am I talking about? Y'all, I'm high or it's drunk or something right now in the morning. But anyways, man, I'll catch you on the next one. Amazing cards from uh, this week. Hopefully, next week we got the same type of caliber cards and not just offensive linemen, defensive linemen. You know, anyways, I'll catch you on the next one.